Just wanted to say that. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for your comments, Susan. Uh, next up is Bobak, followed by Derek. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. And uh, uh, Chairman, uh, I, I would like to invoke presidential privilege uh, as a president of a chartered uh, club, uh, the United Democratic Club, uh, to speak uh, at public comment tonight. I hope that's OK. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, I know most of you, but for those that don't know me, uh, my name is Bob Akisfandiari. Uh, I live out in the Ocean Beach area of San Francisco in the outer Richmond district. Uh, I've been a resident of this fine city for nearly two a decade. And I've also been a resident of the San Francisco Bay Area my whole life um, in, in multiple cities and towns, uh, East Bay, South Bay, et cetera. Um, and I'm a lifelong Democrat. I've been a Democrat since I could register to vote. Um, I became a Democrat uh, because in high school, uh, I was bullied in the post 9-11 era. Uh, I was um, uh, really othered pretty dramatically. Um, there was name calling, there was bullying, there was everything under the sun. And then when the Iraq war happened, when the Bush administration dragged us into a irresponsible uh, and illegal war, um, I uh, ended up demonstrating with my fellow middle and high school students throughout the years, um, because that issue was what brought me to be a Democrat. It was the notion that, that um, we should not be uh, uh, gallivanting around and, and um, trying to... Uh, uh, impose democracy on other nations and all, all this stuff around uh, uh, what it meant to be um, uh, ruining other parts of the world before we had our own house in order and 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 so on and so forth. Um, I then went on to work for President Obama's uh, re-election campaign, um, but in between all of that, I, I did labor organizing in college. I, I did all these other things um, that you know shouldn't matter. My my. Biography shouldn't technically matter, but everyone loves to tout their biography when they come and talk about why they're worthy of something. Um, and I'm, I bring all this up to say that that my past experiences in the in the early aughts uh, and in the Obama campaign um, was what led me to believe a basic truism about this party, and that is that uh, I believe that part of what it means to be a Democrat and and be part of the Democratic Party is that if you work hard and play by the same set of rules as everyone else, you can make it in this country if you try. And that's you know counter to what the Republicans push, which is that we're going to rig the game for the rich and the wealthy. Um, I frankly, you know, could not believe what I heard when I heard it about how this meeting went last week, last month, I should say. And um, I was astonished to hear about how uh, the, the folks who uh, were applying to be chartered um, were treated. Um, and I have a warning for everyone here who, who continues to entertain these conspiracy oriented mindsets about some of the extremes of this party that the voters are not going to reward you for dismissing their everyday legitimate concerns with hand-wavy bullshit and nonsense about how everything I don't like and everyone I disagree with is a Republican. It's not true. It's why there has been some shifts recently in the most recent set of election cycles. Uh, and I've sat through this nonsense when it comes to the city's debates on housing, on the city's debates about how to deal with our transit woes, uh, about the city's debates with respect to the leadership of the Board of Education and the District Attorney's Office, we may have disagreed on those recalls, but it does not mean that everybody who disagreed with you was a Republican. It's just not true. I've had it with all of that nonsense. I've had it with sitting through public hearings uh, in city government where I get called a Nazi because other people disagree with my point of view on certain things. Um, I've had it with being told that I have blood on my hands because I believe differently with respect to whether or not a certain neighborhood should have been districted uh, into uh, into my neighborhood or not, into, into the, the redistricting process, because that was an also another very contentious, negative partisan thing that really displayed the worst of what this party has to offer locally and regionally. We have serious problems in this city. I'm sure you all know it. Um, we have serious debates about those problems, and sometimes we actually focus on the issues. But this body, when it entertains baseless conspiracy theories peddled by people who have no interest in actually having an honest debate about the issues, but would rather just slander their opponents, um, this body debases those debates. And those differences of opinions, when it entertains unsubstantiated and baseless claims from cranks and trolls who have this conspiracy theory mindsets, um, it really just ruins the discourse for everyone, and it turns people off from wanting to participate in the party and in the city's politics in general. I know 
I've been recruiting people endlessly to get involved, both in my club and in the party in general. And a lot of people turn their nose away from it. They are, are no PP for a reason uh, or, or decline the state for a reason. And getting them to set that aside because they're actually liberal, but they have frustrations with the party is hard. And I've had a lot of one-on-ones with people and I've worked hard to grow my club and I've worked hard to grow this party. And uh, I'm grateful that this body took the vote tonight to charter the West Side Family Democratic Club. I'm going to be a member of that club, but I'm not going to be too involved because I'm leading my own club. Um, but the delaying question should have never happened in the first place. And I hope that everyone here takes time to reflect on that and takes time to reflect on what it means for the larger body politic of this city. Thank you. You have a good night. Thank you for your comments. Next is Derek Ramsky, 